Deep beneath the earth, a 7,000-ton machine captured a signal no scientist saw coming. A burst so strange, it triggered instant alarm from Michio Kaku himself. This isn't science fiction, it's the so-called Third Interdimensional Interaction, or 3I, recorded by CERN's Atlas Detector. And Kaku warns it could catapult humanity into godlike danger, or irreversible disaster. If this anomaly breaks the laws of physics, we could be standing at the edge of creation, or destruction. What did Kaku see that made him sound the alarm, and why could this change the fate of the universe? The answer begins with a single, inexplicable pulse. The first whispers of the three-eye anomaly swept through the physics community like a shock wave. In the control rooms beneath Geneva, monitors flashed with data that defied every prediction. The signal lasted less than a second, a spike where nothing should exist. No collision model, no background noise, no known physics could explain it. Within hours, the data packet earned a nickname, the God Pulse. Even the most seasoned researchers stared at the readouts in disbelief. This wasn't a statistical blip or a calibration error. The anomaly cut straight across the standard model's expectations, registering at energies where theory says the universe should be silent. Atlas, the detector responsible for capturing this event, is designed to sift through billions of collisions every second, looking for the rarest signatures. But nothing in its years of operation had prepared the team for this. The three-eye pulse didn't match any known particle decay, nor did it resemble the rare quantum fluctuations that sometimes sneak past even the most advanced machine learning filters. Instead, the event pattern looked like a ripple from another set of rules, a brief, impossible echo that left the world's most powerful detector momentarily blind to its own programming. The implications landed hard. A signal this far outside the norm isn't just a curiosity. It threatens to unravel decades of physics, to force a rewrite of what we believe keeps the universe stable. For the first time since the Higgs, the sense of standing at the edge of discovery was matched by an undercurrent of dread. If the three-eye anomaly is real, it could mean that the laws of reality are more fragile and more unpredictable than anyone imagined. The data spread, encrypted, to a handful of trusted theorists. Among them, Michio Kaku read the numbers and, for a moment, hesitated. The warning he would issue next would echo far beyond the walls of CERN. Michio Kaku's reputation as a physicist is built on a rare blend of deep theory and public foresight. He helped found string field theory, a cornerstone of modern attempts to unify the laws of nature. Yet, it's his ability to read the undercurrents of technology and sound the alarm before the rest of the world catches up that sets him apart. When the encrypted 3i data hit his inbox, Kaku's reaction was immediate and uncharacteristically grave. This wasn't the cautious optimism he has brought to quantum computing, or AI. This felt different. Kaku has spent decades ranking humanity's technological leaps on a danger scale. At the bottom, he places everyday tools, safe, predictable, well understood. Higher up, he warns of technologies like AI and genetic engineering, powerful enough to rewrite the rules of civilization if left unchecked. But at the very top, he reserves a special place for discoveries that threaten the fabric of reality itself. Black holes in the lab, quantum computers that might outthink their creators, signals that hint at cracks in the universe's foundation, He's warned before that quantum leaps in physics can outpace our ability to control them. In lectures and books, Kaku has argued that the more godlike our science becomes, the greater the risk of stumbling into the unknown. String field theory, his own brainchild, predicts a universe of hidden dimensions and delicate balances, systems that could unravel if the wrong lever gets pulled. The numbers from ATLAS suggested a lever had just been hit. To Kaku, the three-eye anomaly wasn't just another puzzle for theorists. It was a wake-up call, the kind that demands not just curiosity, but caution. If the laws of physics are more brittle than we thought, then every new discovery carries the weight of consequences we might not see coming. Buried 100 meters beneath the outskirts of Geneva, Atlas stands as a monument to human curiosity and technical ambition. Towering five stories high and stretching nearly half a football field in length, this detector weighs in at over 7,000 tons, more massive than the Eiffel Tower, yet engineered with the precision of a Swiss watch. Its layered structure forms a cylindrical fortress around the heart of the Large Hadron Collider, 
where protons collide at energies that mimic the first moments after the Big Bang. Atlas isn't just big, it's astonishingly sensitive. More than 100 million sensors are wired into its core, each one tuned to catch the tiniest shreds of evidence from particle collisions. Imagine a digital eye that can see a single photon flash in a blizzard of debris, or trace the faint curl of a muon as it escapes the chaos. These sensors record the aftermath of up to a billion collisions per second, generating a data torrent that would fill a stack of DVDs stretching to the moon every year. Yet, only the rarest, most interesting events survive the detector's ruthless digital triage. The scale of Atlas is matched by its complexity. The inner tracker, built from carbon fiber composites and silicon sensors, sits at the very center. Four nested barrels, each a marvel of miniaturization and alignment. Surrounding this, electromagnetic and hadronic calorimeters measure the energy of particles with a precision that rivals the best laboratory balances. The outermost layer, the muon spectrometer, is laced with powerful superconducting magnets and precision chambers built to spot the faintest signatures of particles that can pass through walls of lead and steel. Every collision inside Atlas is like smashing two intricate watches together, then trying to reconstruct not just the gears, but the laws that govern time itself. The detector sensors and algorithms sift through these fragments searching for patterns that don't belong, signals that might hint at new forces, hidden particles, or cracks in the structure of reality. When the three-eye anomaly appeared, it was this colossal machine that caught its fleeting trace, translating a momentary ripple in the quantum fabric into a string of numbers that would unsettle the world's leading physicists. Atlas, with its vast, silent chambers and relentless digital gaze, had once again proven that even the most fleeting mysteries of the universe leave fingerprints, if you know where and how to look. Physicists began mapping the anomaly against the known forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces. Each has its own signature, its own rules. But the three-eye pulse didn't fit. It didn't behave like a stray photon or a rogue gluon. Its energy profile, its fleeting presence, and its refusal to decay into anything familiar left theorists with a stark possibility, a fifth force lurking in the data. The standard model has always been a patchwork, brilliant but incomplete. It can't explain dark matter, the invisible glue that outweighs ordinary matter five to one. It doesn't account for the universe's accelerating expansion or why gravity is so much weaker than the other forces. For decades, physicists have hunted for evidence of another interaction, something subtle, something hidden. The three-eye anomaly, with its clean break from known decay chains, handed them a new candidate. Some theorists propose that this signal might be a messenger from the dark sector, a world of particles that barely brush against our own. If so, the three-eye event could be the first handshake across that divide. Instead of a new particle, it might be a new way that matter talks to itself, an interaction that only reveals itself under the most extreme conditions. If this fifth force exists, its influence could stretch far beyond the lab. Dark matter shapes galaxies, bends light, and sculpts the universe on the largest scales. A new force could mean new forms of matter, new rules for stability, even new risks for technology and energy. The equations would have to be rewritten, the boundaries of what's possible and what's dangerous would shift overnight. That's why the three-eye event rattled even the most cautious theorists. Suddenly, the question wasn't just what the universe is made of. It was whether humanity is ready to wield knowledge. Knowledge that could change the balance of nature itself. Electricity was once a curiosity, flickering in glass tubes and shocking the fingertips of showmen. It took only a few decades for that invisible force to reshape cities, ignite industries, and expose new risks no one had imagined. In the 20th century, nuclear physics offered a similar promise, limitless power, medical breakthroughs, and the shadow of annihilation. The same equations that lit up hospital scanners also built arsenals that could level continents. Each leap in understanding brought new tools, and with them, consequences that rippled through every home, every nation. Now, physicists are staring at data that hints at something deeper, a force that could make electricity and the atom look tame by comparison. If the three-eye anomaly points to a new interaction, it's not just a question for the next generation of textbooks. It's a question for every person who relies on the stability of matter, the predictability of technology, the safety of their world. 
History shows that when humanity unlocks a new force, the effects are never contained to the lab. The telegraph made empires feel small. The reactor core made governments rethink war. Each discovery rewrote the rules of what was possible and what was dangerous. Imagine a world where the boundaries between matter are less certain, where the laws that keep engines running and bridges standing are open to negotiation. The three-eye signal doesn't just challenge physicists, it challenges the bargain society has made with its own tools. If this new force can be harnessed, it could offer breakthroughs in energy, communication, or medicine. But if it can't be controlled, the risks could reach far beyond power grids or data networks. When the rules change at the most fundamental level, every layer of civilization is exposed. That's why the warning rings out, not as a distant echo from a physics conference, but as a question that reaches into every home. Are we ready to live in a world where the laws of nature themselves are up for grabs? Protons racing at nearly the speed of light smash together inside Atlas, unleashing a storm of particles and energy. Each collision produces a digital avalanche, millions of data points, most of it routine, some of it never seen before. Sifting through this chaos by hand is impossible. Instead, physicists turn to artificial intelligence, building algorithms that learn to spot the rarest signals buried in the noise. Atlas relies on unsupervised machine learning, a method where the system teaches itself what normal looks like. The AI scans billions of events, mapping out the expected patterns of known physics. It doesn't need a list of what to look for. It simply flags anything that doesn't fit. This process is like teaching a computer to recognize every note in a symphony, then asking it to point out a single wrong chord. The anomaly that triggered the three-eye alert slipped past every traditional filter. Only the AI's anomaly detection system caught it, a spike in the data that matched nothing in the standard model, nothing in years of background noise. The algorithm assigned it a high anomaly score, a statistical red flag that demanded human attention. These machine learning tools operate at a scale and speed no human team could match. Every second, Atlas records up to a billion collisions, generating data that would fill a stack of DVDs reaching to the moon each year. The AI triage system whittles this torrent down to the handful of events that might rewrite physics. Without it, the three-eye signal would have vanished, lost in the blizzard. This is the new reality of discovery. Machines now serve as the first line of detection, seeing patterns and possibilities that even the sharpest human eyes would miss. The future of physics depends on algorithms that can find the impossible and on researchers willing to trust what the machines reveal. String theory doesn't just add new particles to the cosmic roster. It proposes that everything we know is woven from vibrating strings, each one a note in a symphony that plays across more than three dimensions. The mathematics behind string theory demands extraspatial dimensions, curled up so tightly that they escape direct detection. Some theorists describe our universe as a three-dimensional membrane, or brain, floating in a higher dimensional space. In this picture, what we call reality is just a slice of a much larger structure. The three-eye anomaly, with its abrupt rule-breaking signal, has some physicists reaching for these higher dimensional models. If the event didn't fit any known decay chain, and if it didn't resemble a new particle, then maybe it was a tremor from a neighboring brain, an echo of physics playing out in dimensions beyond our own. The math allows for interactions where energy or information briefly leaks from one membrane universe to another, producing signals that look completely alien to detectors built for our three-dimensional world. It's not just theoretical hand-waving. The equations that describe these brain collisions predict rare high-energy events that could ripple across the fabric of space-time, leaving behind signatures that defy the standard model. The three-eye pulse, sharp and isolated, fits the profile of such a dimensional echo. If that's true, we're not just seeing a new force or particle, we're catching a glimpse of a multiverse, where the boundaries between realities are thinner than anyone dared imagine. The thought is both awe-inspiring and unsettling. What if our universe is only one sheet in a cosmic stack, and the next anomaly isn't just a message from the unknown, but a doorway? The universe may not be as stable as it seems. Physicists have long suspected that our reality sits on a razor's edge, a metastable state, not the lowest possible energy, but a precarious plateau. The Higgs boson's measured mass, 125 giga-electron volts, 
is right in the range that hints at this unsettling possibility. If true, the cosmos is balanced in a false vacuum, like a ball resting on a hilltop, waiting for the smallest nudge. A vacuum decay event would be that nudge. In theory, a quantum fluctuation or a high-energy collision could trigger a phase transition. The laws governing matter, energy, even the speed of light could shift in an instant. A bubble of true vacuum would form, expanding at nearly the speed of light, rewriting physics itself as it devours everything in its path. There would be no warning, no defense, no time to react. The fabric of space-time, as we know it, would unravel. The three I anomalies energy spike landed right in the danger zone. The numbers echo predictions made by theorists who mapped out the boundary between stability and collapse. For decades, these calculations lived in the realm of distant doomsday, fascinating but safely out of reach. Now, with detectors brushing against the energies that define those boundaries, the scenario feels less remote. The universe's apparent calm may mask a hidden fragility, one that human curiosity could, in principle, disturb. This isn't science fiction. The equations are real, the risks calculated. A vacuum decay event would erase not just life, but the very rules that make existence possible. The unsettling truth. The universe could end, not with a bang, but with a silent, unstoppable wave. And the latest data brings that possibility, however slim, into sharper focus than ever before. The Atlas detector, weighing over 7,000 tons and buried 100 meters underground, recorded the 3 y anomaly, an event no model could predict. This signal, flagged by AI systems trained on millions of collisions, forced physicists to question the completeness of the standard model, which has guided particle physics since the 1970s. Michio Kaku, who co-founded string field theory, described discoveries like these as tipping points for civilization, moments where knowledge can either advance humanity or unleash risks we cannot control. So far, no official CERN report has fully explained the 3i event, and all follow-up data remains under review. It is not known whether this anomaly marks a new force, a hint of hidden dimensions, or a sign that our universe is more fragile than believed. What is certain, the boundaries of science have shifted, and the tools we build, both experimental and theoretical, now probe dangers and opportunities on a cosmic scale. As Kaku warned, the true impact of 3D depends not just on discovery, but on how humanity chooses to respond.